Hey everybody, Prepper for the Ages coming at you from my primary location. How are you doing today? Let me continue on getting to know what is going on at night in your surroundings. Um, specifically, what I do is I, not only do I have preps for me, I have preps for my mom and my dog, I have also preps for some feral cats that I'm taking care of in the neighborhood. And the reason why I'm doing this is quite, quite, um, well, you know, they're, they're cute, they're fuzzy, you get to say hi to them as they run away in the middle of the night. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what they also do is they catch mice and, and voles and other critters that are very non-desirable in the living situation. So basically, um, you don't want voles or moles in your garden. You don't want mice running around in your preps. Of course, you don't want mice running around in your preps. And you also, you know, you don't want squirrels to come and take your fruit off the trees and whatnot. So you want a population of predators around so that it keeps the environments to a minimum. Well, last night I'm sitting there looking through my critter cam uh, pictures and a mouse came up and started feed in feeding itself out of the cat bowl that I keep the cat food in on the porch. I'm like, you know, I could do something about it, but I'm like, yeah, that I, I I'm not gonna lay odds on that mouse surviving. The last time a mouse went up to feed out of the cat food bowl, the cat was actually eating out of the bowl. The cat was eating out of the bowl. <laughs> and the mouse came up behind it. And this is on the critter cam. The mouse came up behind it. The cat looked over, pounced on the mouse, dispatched the mouse, and dragged, like he didn't eat the carcass of the mouse. He dragged the mouse over next to the food bowl. He continued eating out of the food bowl, and he left the present for me <laughs> as a thank you for the cat food. Um, so yes, that's one of the reasons why I keep cat food around and I, I don't put a lot of cat food out. I want to make sure that I feed the cats and not the other, not the skunks and not the, not the um, possums and not anything that I don't want. But I do want to feed the cats and make sure that they are welcome around and that they, uh, they know that they're welcome and they, they you know, they're, they're not friendly, they're feral, they're, uh, what are those you call, they call them spirit cats, cats that cannot be tamed. And I'm okay with that, but yes, they do keep the critter population down. Uh, yeah, if they don't get the mice or whatnot, or the voles and the moles, I'll put out snap traps and uh, different traps to uh, to take care of the varmint situation, and then go from there. But yeah, I do do that. Uh, it's something that I am aware of and that I'm control controlling. And the critter cams definitely help with getting all of that information to me so that I can decide what is best in my certain situation. And I certainly encourage you to do the same. Uh, make sure you know what's around you, what comes around at night. Uh, you can you probably either borrow critter cams or you can uh, buy them there at the any hunting sportsman store around or you can get them online. Or uh, maybe if you have a, a, a buy nothing page in your area to do an ask for a critter cam if somebody's not using it. Well, that, I hope this amuses you. <laughs> That's all I have for today. Prepper for the Ages, signing out for now.